Hi there guys, welcome to the video, thank you very much for tuning in and this will be a short instructions video on how to change the motor direction on your quadcopter maybe the motors on your quadcopter aren't spinning the, uh, the right way around this is a brand new build I've got here and in this video I'm gonna show you how I check and maybe change the direction of these motors and that's actually become uh, a lot easier in Beta Flight 4.3 and newer. So I think that warrants a video to show you how that's done. Here we go. <laughs> you serious? So to check and change the direction of your motors, you'll need, of course, the quadcopter itself without the propellers on. Safety first, right? Uh, you don't want to definitely don't want to work on your cocktail with a lipo connected and a usb cable connected and the propellers on safety first so yeah the second thing is you'll need a lipo to actually uh, make the motor spin you'll need a usb cable to hook up the flight controller to your computer and you need a computer i've got a windows 11 computer over here so that's all you need let's get started Okie dokie guys, uh, first we need to start the Beatlefight Configurator on our computer, here we go, Beatlefight Configurator, and okay then we need to hook up the USB cable from our computer to our flight controller. And be the right configurator has actually seen our flight controller. Yay! So in the past, the motor direction was actually uh, changed in the BL Heli configurator or BL Heli 32 configurator. As you probably know if you've been around for a while, it's become a lot easier. And also, you now do it or you can do it in Beatlefight Configurator. You can still, if you uh, prefer, do it in the BL Heli configurator. But again, it's a lot easier. So if you are relatively new to this, this is. Well, <laughs> lucky you, this has become a lot easier since BeatleFlight 3.4. So what we do is we go to the motors tab, to the motors tab, and at this point we need to hook up our LiPo, otherwise we can't spin up our motors, obviously. Hachi day. Okay, and so we now have a button over here which is new in Beatlefight 4.3 and we click it, motor direction and I understand the risk. Again, you don't want the propellers on your quadcopter right now. I do have some tape on the motors and that's mostly to help you see, hopefully to see what, uh, what is going on with our motors. But I understand and um, individually or wizard, um, I think individually is the easiest way. I'm going to do individually. So click. Now let's see motor one. And that's the motor on the bottom right, right? And that motor is actually spinning clockwise. So in this direction, that is correct. In my case, that's correct. I don't want to use the motors in the opposite direction. You can if you'd want to, but I, I don't. So again, click on that number one over here and the motor will temporarily spin. And it's spinning clockwise, which is what I want. Motor two. Motor two is also spinning clockwise, which is not what I want. So I click reverse. And now I click motor 2 again, and sure enough, it is rotating counterclockwise now. So great. Then motor 3, it is moving clockwise. Clockwise, and that's not what I want, so I reverse that motor as well. Clickety click, and it's now running counterclockwise. Yay, motor 4. Motor 4 is running clockwise, if I'm not mistaken. It is. So it's running this direction, which is what we want. And that is it. I hit close. And, well, you could check it again. I understand the risks. And then run this master mixer or the master gauge. And then all your motors should spin up. 
and you can check all directions. And guys, that is it. Very simple or not? I think this is very simple. And I've actually never used that wizard. Uh, I think this is the easiest way. So motor direction and then understand and then individually. I think that's the easiest way to do this. Um, let's actually check out the wizard as well. Wizard. So motor direction starts. Okay, all motors. Oh, I can now reverse the motors while they are all spinning. Okay, stop motors. Yeah, okay. Um, again, I think that this individual option is easier. Then you simply uh, spin up uh, each motor individually, <laughs> hence the name of the option, and uh, works out uh, brilliantly, in my humble opinion. Okay, so that was a quick how-to. Hope this helped you out. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.